Hi guys, welcome to my class. Now I am going to show you the solution for problem 3.1a using the knife gauss elimination. Before you watch this video, I strongly recommend you to read my notes of chapter 3 first. This is to let you understand the fundamentals of matrix and elimination in solving the linear algebraic equations. This is the problem 3.1a. Make sure we carry six significant figures to reduce the round of error. First, we need to convert the equation into an augmented metric. Here are the three equations represented in the augmented matrix. The first equation is named as R1. The second equation is R2. And the third equation we call it as R3. We have to change the values in the red square boxes to become zero so that we can get an upper triangular matrix. In the first step of forward elimination, we will make the element A to 1 into 0 using R1 and R2 equation. We multiply R1 by A to 1 divided by A11 to become a new R1A equation. Please note that this R1A equation is temporarily to be used and we will not put in the augmented matrix. Then we use the R2 equation to subtract the R1A equation to make A to 1 to become 0. This is the new augmented matrix and we will use this for the next step. Forget the past matrix form. Next, in the first column, we will make this element A31 into 0. Same procedure, we will make the element A31 into 0 using R1 and R3 equations. Multiply R1 by A31 divided by A11 to become a new equation, R1B. Then we subtract. R3 equation with R1B equation, we can make element A31 become 0. We will use the new augmented matrix for the next step. In the second column, we will make this element A32 into 0. In this time, we use R2 and R3 equations. Multiply R2 by A32 divided by A22 to become R2A new equations. Then, subtract R3 equations with R2A equation. We can make element A32 to become zero. We will use the new augmented matrix again for the next step. Now we apply the back substitution to get the answers. We will start at the row 3 because there is only one unknown left, which is x3. Here we can simply get the x3 is equal to 7. Then we use row 2 to solve the unknown x2. By substitute the x3 equal to 7, we get x2 is equal to negative 2.5. Lastly, we solve the x1 using row 1 equation. We obtain x1 is equal to 3. We can verify the answer by substitute the value of x1, x2 and x3 into the original equation set. That is the solution for the problem 3.1a. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.